Thank you very much. I, um, and I see my family here now. Um, first of all, I would like to thank the crier staff, Mrs. Kephart, Allie Curris for making this very special um, honor for me and for even considering me for such a prestigious honor. I came back here after 35 years of retiring from teaching and coaching for, a reason, for several reasons. And I stayed for five and a half years as the athletic director for many of those reasons were the young adults that are sitting out here in front of us tonight. The students, the student athletes of this class of 2019, the young adults that are sitting in the stands now that will graduate in a few years, and the young adults who preceded you made me want to come back because you motivate through your performances, your achievements, whether it be in arts, athletics, or academics. You motivate and inspire me to become a better leader. Some of the fondest memories I've had in the last five years as the athletic director is not the paperwork, because it's tremendous, but it's being able to go out in those contests and see the athletes and see the coaches and the parents all in support of each other the enthusiasm that you bring to your performances. But it's the rest of you as well that play a part in everything you do in the high school. And again, whether it be any part of the three A's, you have all motivated me and inspired me to want to be the best that I could be. I want to thank the Borman Athletic Department, my second family, Mrs. Armstrong, who taught me a lot of the, the rules of the office when I came in, not knowing what to be uh, as an athletic director. Nick Huco, who became a confidant of mine and a very, very close friend and helped me through this endeavor of five and a half years in the department. I would like to thank Eric Simeon and Rick Seipert for all of their help and coverage. Bergil Walsh and Karen Rowan for again helping us in that office with all of the clerical work. I would like to thank my family. Um, and I'm truly excited that they're here for this tremendous achievement that you've, honor that you've given me. My husband, Dan, was a teacher and successful coach here for 35 years. We both retired together, and we thought that was it. We're done, we're going to the beach, we're golfing, we're traveling. And when the call came and they asked me if I would come back as the athletic director, my first question to my husband was, should I do this? And he said, you've always wanted to do it. You owe it to yourself to deserve it, or to do it. And I said, and what if I like it? And he said, we'll deal with that later. And five and a half years, I've stayed in this position because of his support. And I can't thank you enough, Dan, for all the behind the scenes things that you did for this department. People don't know what you've done to help raise funds for the stadium project, what you've done for me behind the scenes to make me be able to stay in this position and to stay in coaching for as many years as I did. Thank you, Dan. I'd also like to thank my brother, my brother and my sister, and my sister who I see is here now from Chicago. She was a physical education teacher, and she's three years older than me. And when she graduated from my alma mater, Kent State, I wanted to be just like my sister. I, she was my role model. I wanted to be just like her. So thank you, Debbie. I would never be in this profession today if it wasn't for you. And <laughs> she's going to kill me for saying this, but to my 91-year-old mother, who looks like she's 75, I know I'll hear it later. My mother and father supported me in everything I did. They supported all of us. But back in the 70s, it wasn't as popular of a time for women to be in athletics. And I played three sports back then. And they were there at everything. They were there at my coaching uh, contests. They have been a support my entire life. Mom, thank you for everything. I know Dad is looking above and very proud of everything. Thank you all very much. <laughs> 